The governor promotes his administration's school construction track record, including 5,000 new jobs in March alone. Some say state funding doesn't make the grade when it comes to charter schools. That sound is now banned in one community after the creation of a railroad quiet zone. And a new sprinkler mandate draws fire from home builders. You're watching NJN News for Thursday, April 23rd. It's often referred to as the sprinkler wars, but this isn't about a bunch of kids spraying each other for kicks, say, on a summer's day. As South Jersey Bureau Chief Kent St. John reports, there's some serious heat being generated between builders and fire safety advocates over whether New Jersey should require sprinkler systems in new single-family homes. Supporters and opponents of the issue debated the pros and cons of the use of sprinkler systems being installed in new homes. Advocacy groups say it will save lives while it's alleged that some contractors think it adds too much to the cost of building a home. Many different groups have been providing input on this, both proponents of sprinkler systems and those that don't feel they should be mandatory. It, it comes down to should the government again require you to put something in your home that you may not want. It's freedom of choice. Kent Mazaris is a proponent of sprinklers. He gave a startling video presentation that showed a side-by-side -side burning of a typical home fire. One room had sprinklers and the other did not. Temperatures at the ceiling right now are probably over 450 degrees. Okay? Anything over 150 degrees will permanently injure your lungs. Reach a temperature of 155 degrees, went off, is now operating, and is putting that fire out. That fire cannot now spread to another room. Mazzaro says the video speaks for itself. Uh, again, limited amount of water, uh, residential head, uh, flowing probably 15 GPM, 15 gallons per minute on the fire. Within 45 seconds, that sprinkler head had activated and was working to suppress the fire. In this situation, as you see, it actually put the fire out. Mazzaro says there are a number of benefits to having residential sprinklers installed other than the fact that it will save lives. There's also implied benefits uh, that I brought up regarding the tax dollars that you spend to um, facilitate fire service personnel, your local fire departments, um, you know, your water purveyor costs. The New Jersey Uniform Construction Code Advisory Board voted recently on a compromise to adopt the 2009 International Residential Codes Office requirement that all new homes and townhomes nationally be equipped with the sprinkler system. New Jersey is poised to adopt the requirement on January 1st of 2012. It will not affect existing homes. Meanwhile, some states are trying to block the requirement on a state level, but New Jersey has not taken that step. Like there's no legislation being proposed in New Jersey to stop mandatory sprinklers. Proponents say the cost to equip an average 2,500 square foot New Jersey home would run between four and six thousand dollars. No contractors at the session came out against sprinklers. Most of them say they are in favor of the requirement. I read the newspaper every day. Um, I, I, I see people in row homes and everything in Philadelphia, Trenton, Newark, dying in fires. And I, I think it's just time that we stop having people die by fires. Is it cost prohibitive? No. Ken St. John, NJN News, Atlantic City. And coming up, pack your bags and don't forget your wallet. A fancy new hotel takes root in Hoboken.